Representative Broad. Well, Madam Speaker, we um, all want to keep kids safe, no doubt about it. But what this bill will do is essentially insert parents or insert doctors and government where parents belong. Representative Fritz, you said that parents would have to go to a doctor for a prescription as to how their child sleeps. So I have to go to a doctor and ask my doctor for permission to put my child to bed? That doesn't make any sense. I would have to go to the doctor to have a communication with my daycare provider to tell them that I want my child to sleep on her back? That doesn't make any sense. Parents have the ability and the capability of determining how their kid sleeps, for goodness sakes. You cannot insert government, you cannot insert a doctor's prescription for the rule or the, uh, you know, for parenting, for goodness sakes. I, I absolutely am just amazed uh, at this legislation. We want to keep kids safe, but for goodness sakes, doesn't a parent too? A parent should have the ability to make parenting decisions. If it's a, this time we're going to say, no parent, you can't tell your daycare provider how your child sleeps. What's next? No, your child can't have peas today because, no, the government, government says that they're going to have corn. I mean, common sense. Parents should make those decisions. This body determined last year in the bill that we sent out of here that parents should make those decisions. We voted on a bipartisan basis that parents should make those decisions. We rejected this approach last year. We rejected it because on a common sense reality, we all know that parents should make those decisions, not government and not a prescription from your doctor. Listen up, Minnesota. You have to go to your doctor now to get a prescription for how your child sleeps at daycare. Vote no to this provision and vote yes on Gottwald's amendment. It's common sense. People don't want government being inserted where their parent responsibility lies.